Morning guys. I am actually at the grocery store right now picking up some stuff for a video I'm gonna to film today. I've got some essential baking stuff so I'm sure you could guess what I'm gonna be doing today. It's gonna to be some cool pastries, uh, holiday inspired stuff. Um, but I'm actually, oh sorry, I'm actually on my way to a meeting uh, for a potential website that uh, this, these, this company that's gonna help me out with. Um, which I'm really excited about if it all works out because I really want a website. It'd be a good, um, a good tool for you guys to, um, to see maybe a different side to me and get a little bit more um, out of my expertise as a chef, I guess. I mean, it's, it's always, you know, YouTube's a great thing. I'm never going to stop that and I'm really passionate about that. But having a website allows me to, you know, sort of share my opinions and my tips and tricks in a different format. Um, that I think I'll enjoy and you guys will get uh, more out of uh, for those of you who follow my YouTube channel um, but yeah you know I'm excited I hope it all works out you know I'd really like a website there's a lot of things that I'd like to share on that sort of format so good morning guys welcome to vlogmas day two I am just waking up I took a shower so my hair is drying right now and I'm just gonna do my hair, do my makeup, and start filming a haul in a little bit because I went to the drugstore and I got a bunch of my favorites from the drugstore. Some of them are like super cheap and like not even that exciting, but I thought it would be a fun haul to share just because I've got a lot of favorites at the drugstore that um, aren't makeup necessarily, but they're like really cool hair and skin and a bunch of different other um, like must-haves from the drugstore, so I'm gonna film that. Byron is um, at a meeting today. I actually don't, he's got a bunch of things going on right now. Um, he's doing like a website. So I don't, I actually don't even know. Like he told me it's with some company. I don't even know. Maybe he'll vlog about it and he'll let you guys know. So he's gone doing that. He'll probably only be gone for a few hours for that meeting. All right, guys, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Hopefully this is gonna be a productive meeting. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and hope it all works out. And yeah, man, it's gonna be cool. I'm just perusing my makeup bag. This stuff is so awesome. Multi-eye prime lash enhancer. Love it. Every single morning, the first thing that I do when I get up is, well, Byron makes coffee, I make tea. I always, we usually like don't do the dishes at night. I always do them in the morning. Like, I don't like to have any leftover dishes in the dishwasher, it drives me batty. So I just, I have a load of dishes going. Oh, I wanted to show you, I'm almost done with the baby's room, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna do a tour, but um, like a full tour on my channel, but my sister made all the bedding. I'm actually not even sure if I'm gonna keep the bumpers in here because bumpers are kind of controversial, but for now, I just, for the tour at least, I'm like, look at how cute that is. I have to put that in the tour. Um, but uh, I got his little Mamaroo thing. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that it's like this legit swing, which some people say their kids love it. Some people say their kids don't, but it has like different settings. This is like the kangaroo setting and you can plug the music into it and it's it like mimics a car ride or like what it feels like inside mom's belly. It's pretty crazy. So I got him some music to go with it and then it's almost done his name's gonna go up here and I'm gonna reveal that soon and then his little glider's gonna go here so it's getting there all right so I just finished up my meeting it was uh, it was a good meeting pretty productive uh, the guy I talked to was really nice really I love when you can talk to people and they're just really good communicators and uh, you just have a really smooth like conversation and uh, you know it always makes it a little bit less uncomfortable um, but it went well, so um, we'll see what comes from it, and I'm really excited, but now I'm on my way back home to my sweetie, baby, and uh, hopefully there's no traffic. There's always traffic in LA, but I wonder what she's up to. So I'm watching QVC. It's kind of loud, I'm gonna turn it down. I always have it kind of on in the background. If you watch my vlogs, you know. I'm a big QVC fan. Um, but they're having the Rebel T3i on sale. It's like. You can get like, I think it's two lenses, a SD card, the camera, a case for $5.99. That's a super good deal. That was actually the first camera that I started filming my YouTube videos on and now I do a 60. Um, 
So yeah, I have that on the background. I thought I would tell you guys. And then I'm using this macadamia net. I don't even know for my hair. Just a little bit because my hair's been really oily lately. But it also is kind of like, it's oily at the top, but then kind of like frizzy at the bottom. I don't really know. But I haven't even been using conditioner because that's how oily it's been in the roots. So. All right, I had to make a quick stop on the way home because I always forget something at the grocery store that I need for my videos. It's like a habit of mine almost. Um, I need to get cake flour and I need to get some whipping cream. I always do this every time. And I need cake flour and I can't find it. What the heck? It's funny, I always, I always go shopping and then I get home, turn on the camera, about to do my video, do the intro, about to do the recipe and don't have the ingredient. Like I don't have one ingredient like butter or sugar or salt or something stupid like that. And so today I'm, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get home and be ingredientless. I need to have all my ingredients today. All right, so finally I'm home after meetings and grocery store things. Uh, I just want, yeah, I just want to show you guys what I got. Some baking essentials. Uh, I got some unsalted butter. Always get unsalted butter uh, because if you use salted butter, you can never um, gauge how much sodium is going to be in the recipe, uh, especially if you add more salt to it. Um, so I always like to work off of something that's neutral. So I recommend unsalted butter for everything. I never get salted butter. So and that's how it is in most professional kitchens. Uh, I got some apples, some gala apples, uh, of course some pumpkin puree, which I was actually thinking about making my own, but I couldn't find any pumpkins. Uh, some heavy cream, milk, cake flour, always need cake flour if you're making cakes and things like that. Got some bread flour because uh, I want to make some bread in the near future. All purpose flour because I'm running low. Some cane sugar and you always need brown sugar. Very important. I use that for my coffee in the morning anyways. So yeah, that was the things I got at the grocery store. And I'm, I'm going to be baking up a storm in here. Oh yeah, I also got this. I want to show you guys. Plastic uh, piping bags. I really like my cloth one, um, but it's a pain in the butt to wash. I only want to use it for very specific things, so I got some plastic ones. And, bam, whoopie pie. Got a whoopie pie pan, so I'm going to make some whoopie pies, which is going to be delicious. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, that's my uh, my grocery store stuff. I'm just going to make a bunch of desserts. Yeah. You know, probably it's going to be like pies. So I got some whoopie pies. Ooh. I got pumpkin puree. I don't know what I could be making with that. Oh, why? I don't and lie. apples. Mm, you yeah, know, there's a theme going on here. I got it. So, Are you but, doing pie week, maybe? Uh, yeah, possibly. Interesting. Possibly. Yeah. So, so, but you know, it's going to be a little different. I always like to do my little spin on things. So right. Still some surprises out there. Got it. Do you want to go check the mail with uh, me? Yeah. We'll go together. Check the mail. Check the mail. Let's go. We're at our favorite restaurant. Well, it's one of our, our favorite. Chicken, chicken joints. Chicken joint yeah. to chicken joint. California chicken cafe is so delicious. And we eat here. We eat here a good amount. I mean, we need to go grocery shopping for regular groceries. We make pretty good chicken at home, I must say. Rachel cooks a mean chicken. Crock pot chicken. Well, it's crock pot, so anytime I cook the crock pot, crock pot chicken, it takes a few hours. So, I don't know. It's good though. It's yeah. So, it, like, if you started at 1 o'clock, mm, it's like tender and. Oh, it's so good. I would say though, I'd rather clean a toilet any day than go grocery shopping. I don't know what it is about <laughs> grocery shopping that I just don't like, especially pregnant. It's just like carrying the bags, and so Byron's been doing it since I got pretty much since I got pregnant. Huh? Even he's been going grocery shopping. I'm pretty good at grocery shopping, I must say. He's that. really good at grocery I'm pretty shopping. Pretty good at it. And he does it fast and efficient, and he always gets like, I always miss something. I like forget it. I don't know. So anyway, so this is what we're doing right now, and then when I go home, I'm gonna film my haul because I didn't have. Um, like he has to focus me otherwise I'm never in focus I'm like the worst at focusing myself I don't have one of those cameras that like you can pull out so you can see yourself which is kind of good because then I'm not staring at myself the whole time I'm filming <laughs> but anyway all right so here we go we've got the mashed potatoes and gravy Dude, they make really chicken. good chicken it's like rotisserie oh, <laughs> the lighting sucks right now because oh, I'm backlit yeah you know you know so full. 
Oh, I always catch you. I got you. Yeah, you did. Straight up. I caught you. See, I'm, I'm a good girl. Wearing my seatbelt the right way. That was really good. Now, we're just gonna head home and fill my little haul. Then, it's time for us to get a, it's time for Rachel to get a mom car. So we're either go, we're, we can't go today, really, I don't think so, because I have to film. I have to film Dress the Nights tonight, but we can go maybe tomorrow. We're I'm well. excited. This week's my baby shower on Saturday is my baby shower, so I'll take you guys on, uh, take you guys with me to my baby shower. So we're having a tea, a high tea. Hi tea, darling. Hi tea. So I just finished filming a video and editing it, and now it's exporting. And the dishes are done, so I'm gonna put those away. Byron is paying the bills shirtless. Pretty sexy. Woo woo. Okay, dokie. So I am off to film Dress to the Nines, which. I've been doing every Monday for the last year and a half, although unfortunately the show is not being picked up for 2014. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I think it just, they don't have the budget anymore and they're moving like everything to New York. So they're completely canceling my show, which is kind of a bummer because it's a, it's a pretty big financial cut for me and Byron, but and it was a fun job. I enjoyed doing it for the last year and a half. But it lasted way longer than I expected it to last. It was only supposed to be 10 episodes to begin with. And it ended up turning into over a year of work for me. So I'm very thankful for that. And I'm sure something else will come up that's equally as great and exciting. So, yep. I'm getting ready to say goodbye in the next few weeks. But I am going to film... Um, Dress the nice, and then I'll be home in a little bit. And then uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is on tonight, which I don't know why it's my guilty pleasure. I just love to watch that show. So, I'm back from Dress the Nines, and I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is actually one of my favorite things to eat nowadays. And then I got a package. I needed to get like an insert to um, like a newborn insert so that he would fit into the mama room. So, I ordered this, and it's in the washer right now. Because anything that's like, that's um, material that he's going to be having his face on or anything, I always wash with the honest detergent. So, doing that and then I'm watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This show is so much drama. I'm always like shocked at how much drama they manage to like come up with. He's playing my belly button. Uh, where did I learn it? Well, I do. Where it. did I learn that instrument? It's not sticking out all the way. It's Every not... once in a while, she strums her belly like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, now it's poking out. <laughs> well, okay. I didn't poke out all the way because I have a very deep, deep innie. No, no, it hasn't popped out, but it like the but top of it kind of pokes out a little. And the top of it pokes out a little bit. It's like swollen, it. <laughs> like, you know, your belly button. And I strum it. <laughs> every once in a while, she's like, do, 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 Can you feel him moving in there? He's moving like crazy. Yeah, I have like three outfits that I can wear nowadays, you guys, all of which are black. Whenever people like say, stop wearing black, I'm always like, Ugh, come dress me. <laughs> that was our I'm day. I'm tired. Our day was I'm day. actually ready for bed. You ready for bed? Yeah. Whoa, he's moving like, whoa! whoa. <gasps> he like, literally, sh her whole belly shifts. It's like, it's weird. It like augments. It's, it it's like alien in yeah, there. exactly. It's like the whole entire belly. I used to think you had like, just like a hard belly. And then the baby just, you could kind of feel the baby moving. Oh, no. Dude, the whole belly you, The like whole changed. belly chain, like you could see. It's weird. Strange. It's strange. It's a strange. We're about to pass out. We're out like sauerkraut. Yeah. See you tomorrow.